kings of the mountain, Shane Van Gisbergen and Garth Tander. They made it! <laughs> they made it. <laughs> I never thought you guys would make it this morning, but there you go. How are you feeling? Um, well, we were quick yesterday, but not so fast this morning. So, um, yeah, no, obviously. To tell us, <laughs> in spirit only. Look, I've been there as well. Yep. Okay, that he's. I think he's done. Yep. <laughs> Okay, at least yeah, he no, showed up. Uh, I understand how you feel after a yeah, big yeah. night. He showed yeah. up for a short time and, and now he's gone. <laughs> now he's gone. <laughs> uh, okay, not for, not for the first time you've been left to carry the whole ship. Um, how are you feeling, big fella? <laughs> yeah, great, thank you. Um, obviously, fantastic day yesterday. Yeah, um, all a bit surreal, know. really. Crazy, crazy weather up here all week and even the rain. At the first part of the race where there was these, I've never driven it here in 25 years of just these isolated pockets of rain hitting the racetrack, so it was crazy at the start. So just surviving the first couple of hours of the race and then, um, you know, we had a great car and the team did an awesome job and, yeah, it's a um, it's really, really special one to win given it was Holden Commodore's last ever start at Mount Panorama and our sport's been built on the Ford mm. versus Holden battle since the 60s, so for it to end like that for Holden was... Um, it was all a bit surreal, really. It was just nuts. I mean, it was like an episode of Survivor at the start. Um, and you had to ease off the throttle and, and, and um, play it really, really careful at the start. Um, can I just get an update um, on Shane? How, how, how's he going right now? <laughs> I think he's now he cur curled up in the fetal position in a corner somewhere. <laughs> so I'm not sure we're going to hear from him anymore this morning. <laughs> I, I, I want to It's hard work doing a thousand Ks. It's hard work doing a thousand k's around here. It was harder work getting him up this morning. Yep, but the thing is, he did show up at least um, for a short time, I and mean, we need to acknowledge that. Uh, he, he's not far away from taking out the championship as well, so he's got to obviously prepare um, for the racing that's to come. For you though, Garth, as well, uh, can I just uh, can I also congratulate you? You yourself are breaking records now, moving up that all-time list. I mean, it's incredible when you look at the names there. How does that feel for you? Uh, yeah, um, for me, it's that, again, a bit surreal. I mean, I still remember as a young kid growing up, sitting on the couch watching this race with my dad and just dreaming of one day driving around the track. And then to get a start here was was amazing. To have a win, you know, it was beyond your wildest dreams. And now to stand here as a five-time winner of the race, um, yeah, can't believe it. Lost for words. I don't usually get emotional at the end of races like that, but yesterday, um, yeah, it hit me pretty hard. So, um, yeah, re very, very special. Um, but also great to share it with Shane. I mean, he mm. is in a vein of form at the moment with his driving that is, you know, no, I don't think anyone's ever really seen it before as far as what he's capable of doing in a race car. So to be able to be that close to him and, and see how he goes about his work and, you know, see all the data and see all the vision and all the technical yeah. stuff, but just to watch him apply his trade is um, it's a real honour as well. So. Um, Feel like I'm very, very lucky right now. Well, just uh, just before we go, my friend, can we just get an update on Shane's condition? <laughs> um, yeah, it's still no better. <laughs> still no better. Just refueling with Red Bull. <laughs> He's over there. Somewhere. <laughs> This is, it's like the Logie's aftermath. <laughs> He's not going anywhere. <laughs> oh, this is great. A great Australian tradition. I'm glad he was able to let fly there. Um, good on him. Um, and good on you too, Garth. It's, uh, it's such a great Australian event. And for you to be top of the pile again is a, is a great indication of how you are uh, as a professional as well. Good on you, mate. Thank you so much. There you go. Not every day you see that on live breakfast television now.